This Miami Mall alien situation is getting crazier by the day. There was some new information that dropped today that turned this entire thing into one of the biggest conspiracies I have ever seen. So for those who don't know, I actually went down to the Miami Mall, the Bayside Marketplace Mall, and I investigated there. I checked out the place while it was closed. I came back during business hours. I investigated store owners. I investigated random people that claimed to have been there that night of the alleged alien invasion. And what I'm about to show you is crazy because it's what some people told me while I investigated that mall. And I didn't think anything of it at the time because I was like, yeah, you know, all right. But now with this information, it makes a lot of sense. So if you want to watch the full videos of when I went to the Miami mall, it's going to be over on my main channel. I'm going to shamelessly plug it on screen right now. Go watch it. Go check it out and make sure to subscribe to my main channel because I will be dropping more videos from that Miami mall very shortly. I'm currently having issues uploading the second part. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe there's something bigger going on. I'm not exactly sure, but make sure to subscribe. So once it is finally up, you will get notified for it and you can see it hopefully before it gets taken down. So, okay, we're going to take a look at this. So my friend Ben, who also does YouTube, called me up and said, whenever you get the chance, watch my newest video. And I was like, okay, sounds good. And all I had to see was the title of the video that just blew my mind. And we're going to take a look at this video right now. The video is titled Miami Mall Incident Has Already Occurred one year ago, shocking new evidence of a time shift. Now, this literally just sounds like a whole lot of conspiracy shit going on, right? It sounds like a bunch of crazy people with tinfoil hats on spreading all this crazy stuff, right? I'm telling you, this is the same thing that so many people told me while I was down in Miami. And we're going to get into that in just a second. But I want to react to this video in real time with you because it's going to be the first time I see what's going on in here. Like I said, the title was enough. Now we're going to watch it for ourselves. So let's go take a look at this. Also, make sure to go check out my friend Ben's channel. I'll link it down in the description below. He's been covering this entire situation. So here we go into his video. All right, so the video is 17 minutes long. I'm not exactly sure if we're going to react to the entire thing, but Ben did tell me there's some new evidence in here that's just absolutely insane. Let's take a look. Time to crack out those tinfoil hats once again because we're talking about Miami Mall. Not today about the aliens, but something else that someone has sent to me, which... We, we might be delving into the realms of conspiracy here, but very concerning. So, this email was sent to me yesterday at the time of recording uh, for someone who didn't sign off the email, so I'm going to leave it as anonymous, but you know who you are, so thank you for sending this over. The email says, Okay, this is off the hook new evidence that has surfaced, and it shows that this Miami Mall event has already occurred in 2023. The same incident exactly one year ago. It seems as if something has manipulated time. Yes, it really happened. And it came from the YouTube channel MRMBB333, and they sent over a link to their uh, video, which kind of goes in depth about this situation. So we're gonna play it and we're gonna see what we think. But uh, honestly, I've already looked at this and some of the things that come out are quite alarming. Take a little look at this. Pick this stuff up. I've confirmed it. It is 100% true. What you're about to see in this video almost gives you the feeling that we've entered an episode of the Twilight Zone or something. It almost appears that time has been manipulated or something. I'm going to share with you what Justin shared with me. I did confirm it. It is 100% true. Um, how this happened, I have no explanation for it. It is just super bizarre. Uh, as far as I know, this hasn't made the rounds yet, but but here we go. I'm going to share with you what Justin shared with me. I did some research on this. I confirmed it um, by doing a simple Google search on some information that was in the video that apparently occurred a year ago. Yes, a year ago. Apparently this incident happened a year ago. Now, I know exactly what you're thinking, because I thought the same thing. This is a load of rubbish, but as you get into it, you're going to realize that actually there's a lot more credibility to this than what meets the eye. And the incident that we're referring to isn't necessarily about the aliens, but what the police uh, claimed the issue to be on January 1st, which was three teens arrested for setting off fireworks and rioting yep. within Miami Mall or the Bayside Mall area. Take a look at this. And you're like, what? That's impossible. No, check it out. You're going to see evidence that this did indeed occur 
a year ago or something exactly to a T like what just happened less than three weeks ago. This is super weird. You can't make this stuff up. Here's what Justin shared with me and I'm going to show you guys what I found. Mr. MBB33, I am watching your video now. I'm going to finish your video and then this next video, pay attention to when this video was put on YouTube. This is where this is where it starts to get really crazy. That would be absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, that's all I got. All right, watch the next video. Look at the the date. One year ago. Same incident. According to investigators, some were fighting and others were setting off fireworks, which then led people to believe they were gunshots and that just caused panic. One year. Does that not sound familiar? Gunshots, which led people to put into a panic. Teenagers rioting and getting arrested, and then a flood of police cars in the Bayside area. Exactly one year ago to the day. Here we go. Three teens now in custody. Guys, don't click off yet because this is where it starts to get even crazier. Tell me that. Not freaky. Yes, that is indeed freaky, Justin. Thank you for sharing. So what I did, I watched the video again in astonishment. I couldn't believe that what I was seeing had already happened back in January of, of 2023, apparently. Almost exactly to a T. I mean... It's like we've entered some version of the Twilight Zone. So here, here's what I did. I, I watched the video myself. I looked for maybe other evidence, maybe more proof that this did indeed occur a year ago. And I found it. And I did a simple Google search and I confirmed that, yes, this video is indeed one year old. And it contains the same exact information, almost the same exact information, as what occurred here just less than three weeks ago. The Miami Bayside Mall incident happened a year ago. This is a video that I put together. Okay, here we go. This is the CBS Miami YouTube channel where the video is currently at. That's one year old. It is right here. Look at this, man. Look at it. Exactly a year ago, three teens arrested of the Bayside Marketplace chaos. Three arrested after Bayside Marketplace chaos. One year ago, 4.8K views. So let's continue on and we're going to watch the video and listen to what the man says and watch the ticker tape at the bottom of the video. Again, you can't make this stuff up. This is really happening and I confirm something that you're going to see in this video. If you don't see it, I'll point it out to you. This video is indeed one year old. This is so weird. Check this out. To a developing story out of Biscayne Bay, a chaotic scene near Bayside Marketplace after dozens of police cars flooded the area. Yep. Does that not sound familiar? Dozens yeah. of police cars the flooded police the area. I mean, that was what caused all of this before. If, if there was only a few police cars, you'd discredit it. But there was floods of police cars. Someone counted up over 60 police cars at one point in the incident that happened earlier in 2024. Police say it all started after a group of teenagers became unruly. According to investigators, some were fighting and others were setting off fireworks, which then led people to believe they heard gunshots and that just caused panic. Officers quickly responded to the scene. The three people are now in custody. Okay, that was the video again. It says one year ago, this is the CBS Miami YouTube channel. And it goes on to say down here in the description box, Three people were arrested at the Bayside Marketplace after police say a scuffle and fireworks led to reports of what sounded like gunfire. That's that is literally exactly what happened this year. Like literally the exact same thing. Scuffle, the fight was caught on camera. Dozens of police cars, you guys remember the original video that came out with like 75 to 100 police cruisers out, like surrounding this mall and the fireworks that everyone thought was gunshots. Now, I mentioned that 
when I was in Miami, we were hearing a lot of stuff like this. I swear to you, some of the store owners that you will see in the interviews that come out in part two, they were stating that this happens every single year on the exact same day and they have no idea why it happens. Now, this could just be like someone's big plan to just drive a conspiracy, right? But why? It's kids. It's not like some, you know, puppet master with this massive ring of people that's just like, all right, you guys are going to do this. You guys are going to do that. Let's just drive some fucking hysteria, <laughs> you know? It's just strange to me how it's fireworks fighting this on the exact same day. And from what I've heard, numerous years now. And we actually have footage that a store owner gave us that shows this happening last year on the exact same date as well. So Supposedly, that's what the police are saying anyway. Did that sound familiar? Didn't we just hear this less than three weeks ago? Notice the scrolling text about the swarm of police at Bayside Marketplace. And the gentleman that was in the video, that's what he said. He said dozens of squad cars went to the Bayside Marketplace, just like we saw. We've been talking about that in videos and live streams about the huge huge police presence at Bayside Marketplace in Miami, like 50 or 60 squad cars. Apparently, this happened back in January of 2023. After reports of fireworks and teenagers becoming chaotic and just created a, a big scene. Notice the scrolling text about the, the new no smoking policy. Check this out. This confirms that the video is indeed from 2023 about the new no smoking policy at Miami Beach. I'll show it to you at the bottom of the video right here. See how it comes across the bottom? New smoking ban goes into effect in Miami Beach. So I'm like, okay, let's see if we can find out when that smoking ban went into effect. So the new policy took effect on January 1st of 2023. And here's some simple Google searches that do confirm that scrolling text at the bottom of the video that apparently is from January of 2023. Here we go. New smoking ban starts at Miami Beach parks and beaches. Article dated December 30th of 2022. A smoking ban is being implemented Sunday after midnight at all Miami Beach municipal parks and public beaches. I love a good conspiracy as much as the next guy. However, maybe this is just one big coincidence. I, I genuinely don't know. Maybe we're looking too much into it. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this, what you guys think about all this. Um, do you think it's just one massive coincidence? Do you think that, you know, there's something bigger going on? I don't know. Um, I definitely think it's pretty damn crazy. And, it, you know, when it was told to me initially in Miami by just random people and store owners, I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. You know, maybe because a lot of people are like, yeah, dude, this happens every year. And I'm like thinking to myself, okay, maybe it just happens, you know, every January or February, or whatever. But for it to happen on the exact same day on numerous years, several years, start to raise some suspicion, right? Um, well, let me know. Let me know what you think. I really appreciate your comments, guys. You give some good tips, advice on future videos, on my future endeavors, and all of such. And lately, you guys gave an amazing suggestion. That was to request an FOIA request to the Miami Police Department and request the footage, body cam footage, dash cam footage, from the incident that occurred on January 1st, the alleged alien invasion. And um, we're in the process of doing that. However, someone actually did it before us. A lady has requested footage from, you know, that night. And apparently, she got it. She got it. However, she claims that it was heavily edited due to the fact of minors being involved. I understand that completely, especially if there's somebody in the video that's under the age of 18, you want to protect them at all costs. And I know there's states, for example, that if someone gets arrested for doing literally anything and they're like under the age of 18, they will not provide the name of that person and like the arrest thingy that they post on social media and on the websites and such, which, you know, goes to show. It goes to show. So it makes a lot of sense why they altered a lot of it. But, you know, a lot of people are losing their minds because they're like, this would be the only footage that we would get from that night. And it's not available. So let me know what you guys think of that. Do you think it's fair? I, you know, I, I do, barring the fact that, you know, minors are involved. But, you know, just reading a lot of your comments right now. Um, the number one thing I feared about this alleged alien invasion was that 
it would get swept under the rug after a couple of weeks and that it would just die down and then kind of just no one talks about it anymore. But it seems to be one of those situations that's only, you know, more information is coming up by the day. People are talking about it like crazy and people want answers. And that's what I think is very important. People want answers. You know, there's too many red flags in the situation for it to be ignored. And I, I was saying that before I even went to Miami and investigated that mall. But after I left the mall, I was like, yeah, there is too many red flags here. So I spoke to security, I spoke to police, store owners, and people who claim to have been there that night. And, you know, after speaking to everybody, I realized that it's not just me. There are so many people out there who are saying this is 100% a cover-up. I mean, for example, I had a store owner say this to me. But that's the, that's the reason. It's a, it's a cover-up for the real reason because the society can accept the reality, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. bad. So yeah, I believe that there's definitely something bigger going on here that's kind of just being suppressed and really not pushed out as much as it should be. So so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you want to see my investigation of the Miami Mall, go to my main channel right here and uh, go watch that. And make sure to subscribe because part two will be out soon. If you want to be notified for that. You do not want to miss that. And uh, yeah, I'll cover some more videos about this whenever some new information drops. I'm going to do my best to keep up to date with this entire situation because someone has to. You know, and you guys really do look forward to more information coming out about this. If nothing big comes out for a couple of days or a week or so, don't worry. You know, maybe I'll just come back with like a bigger, longer video. But I don't want to let this die down. I do not want this to be another one of those things that gets swept under the rug. People forget about it and they move on until the next alleged alien, <laughs> you know, invasion or, or alleged alien sighting, whatever it may be. So with that being said, guys, I really appreciate you. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.